Hello there, welcome to another episode of the Allotment Dram. This is a series of short videos where we sit and talk about different whiskies in the surroundings of our North London allotment. And you join me here today, as you can see, on quite a grey, sort of overcast, quite gloomy sort of day. And pretty cold at that, you know, proper chilly. Um, easily the, the coldest day of the autumn so far. Uh, three or four degrees, that, that's it. So, you know, need to keep going. Bit of hard work will keep me warm, but definitely some whiskey is going to keep me warm. And of course, that's why I'm here talking to you. What is the allotment dram today? I hear you ask. Well, something very exciting, that's what it is. It's the uh, Glen Murray Saturn Cast Matured. This is a brand new whiskey, literally came out uh, at the start of this week, and we were very lucky uh, to attend the media launch uh, online yesterday. Of course, uh, you know, launches aren't what they've previously been, where everyone meets up and talks about the whiskey and we hear the stories. You know, it's all done via Zoom and Teams and those other platforms now online. But, uh, you know, still very good, very enjoyable. Uh, with Ian Allen, who's the brand ambassador, and Dr. Kirsty McCallum, who's the uh, sort of master blender uh, for Glen Murray. So, what can I tell you about this? Uh, it's the first bottling of a, a new series of uh, whiskies um, that are going to form the Warehouse One collection. And Warehouse One is, uh, if you go to Glen Murray, it's the warehouse, it's right next to the visitor center and the car park there. And uh, there's a number of warehouses there, you know, they stretch all the way down, you know, either side of the River Lossy, uh, which, which runs up, up to, the, to the North Sea uh, from there. So literally six or seven miles to the coast. Um, but lots of, lots of warehouses there. And, uh, but Warehouse One is particularly special where they keep uh, a lot of quite experimental, unorthodox, types of casks with spirit maturing in it within within them um, and obviously you know very traditional casks like bourbon and sherry and so on but uh, within this warehouse there, there's uh, lots of casks from you know different areas of the world and, and di that have had like different spirits or different wines or whatever in there so this warehouse one collection is going to be a showcase of of some of these exciting, innovative, uh, experimental casts that are in there. So the first one is this uh, Sauterne cast matured. And this consists of just five Sauterne casks that were uh, filled in 2006, August 2006, and have sat there ever since. So, you know, really, uh, you know, 14 years this is bottled at. It's bottled at the natural cast strength, which is uh, 59.6. And of course, you know, only five bot five casks, the number of bottles is going to be very limited. So, you know, if you like the sound of it, then I would, I would hop on it straight away. It's going to be around 79, 80 pounds as well. And it's also only exclusive uh, for the UK. So you'll only be able to buy it uh, within the UK. Uh, so I think without further ado, it's getting very chilly sitting here, so I definitely need uh, to pour a dram and uh, warm myself up. So uh, let's do that. Here we are. There we are. I'll just pop that down for a second. It's a natural colour, non-chill filtered as well. And look at the colour of that, you know, absolutely lovely. Like this deep, deep gold, almost like a slightly orangey sort of amber tint to it as well. But let's have a smell. Mmm, I mean, there's just so, so much going on there. It's, it's immediately like a sweet versus spicy thing going on. So there's, there's a lot of sort of honey toffee is some golden syrup there as well and then there's there's some woody spices like toasted oak plus some cinnamon and there's a little hint of like gingerbread or something like that in the in the background but then underneath you've got some fruit and it's like a like a baked apple 
you know, baked apple, poached pears, that type of thing. And then some dried fruit as well as like sort of sultana, just a little bit of like candied citrus peel. I'm trying to decide whether it's sort of orange grapefruit. Can't really decide. Let, let's have a taste. Mm. Wow, that's just so sort of mouth coating. It's got a lovely, oily, viscous feel to it. But that sweetness is what comes first. It's golden syrup, maybe even a touch of maple syrup um, in there too. But um, yeah, lovely uh, sort of honey, like heather honey some vanilla in there as well and then this fruitiness this fruitiness that just you know starts off with this sort of baked apple and yeah sort of cooked orchard fruits and then there's yeah this sort of juicy sultana and it's definitely I, I couldn't really decide on the nose what the citrus was but it's definitely got this sort of grapefruit peel this sort of uh, grapefruit oils, something like that in there as well. And then comes some further sweetness with like chocolate or a little pinch of cocoa powder, something like that. So let's have another taste. Yeah, so delicious. I've done really well putting these so marrying these five casts together. Because Sautern is normally used, Sautern cast normally used to finish whiskies, you know, so there's there's a couple of examples out there um, where Sautern is used for this short period of time, maybe six months to a year to two months, to two years, sorry, um, to add a little extra to uh, the single malt, but here, it's had the full 14 years in these so turn casts, so you have to play this sort of balancing game, um, which Kirsty McCallum's done very well here, actually. You know, very finely balanced because there's all that sweetness and this sort of oily, viscous quality. I say quite juicy, um, but that's tempered and balanced with this fabulous, sort of slightly tannic, woody, spicy sort of quality. I'm talking about a layer, there's that gingerbread again that I mentioned before, but also a big pinch of cinnamon and like sort of allspice or fi Chinese five spice, something like that in there as well. Yeah, just a little sort of hint of something like white pepper or clove right towards the end there. And yeah, the finish is long warming. It's really warming me sort of right through here which you know is where you need when it's like three or four degrees so yeah delicious and um, yeah well done it's going to be very interesting to see what else comes out of the warehouse one collection because we've been there and you know there, there are some very very interesting casks uh, there you know that we, we've been lucky enough to you know they've opened the the bung on the cask and allowed us to have a sniff and you know there's certainly going to be some very interesting stuff there um but this is a cracking start and you know, 79 80 pounds you know it's not too too naughty for you know something that's of this strength you know almost 60 percent and uh, from a, a sort of rare type of cask like this you know which has uh, you know been sourced from france for those of you that don't know saturn is a sort of sweet dessert style of wine and um, it's made just south of the Bordeaux region uh, in France um, but yeah very rarely used in, in Scotch whiskey so you know to have a limited edition from a rare cask at this high strength you know 79 80 pounds not too bad we don't think but from myself and the Glen Murray Saturn cask matured we will bid you farewell uh, get on with some work and uh, this is certainly going to keep me keep me warm while I do that. So, until next time, thanks for watching, and we'll see you very soon. Cheers.